The Comet Nucleus Tour was a NASA Discovery class space probe that failed shortly after its July 2002 launch. It had as its primary objective close flybys of two comet nuclei with the possibility of a flyby of a third known comet or an as yet undiscovered comet. The two comets scheduled to be visited were Encker and Schwassmann WACHMANN 3, and the third target was Darest. It was hoped that a new comet would have been discovered in the inner solar system between 2006 and 2008, in which case the spacecraft trajectory would have been changed if possible to rendezvous with the new comet. Scientific objectives included imaging the nuclei at resolutions of up to 4 meters 13 feet, performing spectral mapping of the nuclei at resolutions of up to 100 meters 330 feet, and obtaining detailed compositional data on gas and dust in the near-nucleus environment, with the goal of improving knowledge of the characteristics of comet nuclei. After the solid rocket motor intended to inject the spacecraft into solar orbit was ignited on August 15, 2002, contact with the probe could not be re-established. Ground-based telescopes later found three objects along the course of the satellite, leading to the speculation that it had disintegrated. Attempts to contact the probe were ended on December 20, 2002. The probe thus accomplished none of its primary scientific objectives, but did prove some spaceflight technologies, such as the APL-developed non-coherent spacecraft navigation technique, which was later used on the New Horizons spacecraft. Topic: Spacecraft. Topic: Design and construction. The Contour spacecraft was constructed in-house at the Johns Hopkins University Applied Physics Laboratory. Contour was shaped as an octagonal prism, measuring at 2.1 meters (6.9 feet) tall and 1.8 meters (5.9 feet) long, had a total fueled mass of 398 kilograms (877 pounds) at launch, not including the 377 kilograms (831 pounds) mass of the Star 30 booster it was attached to during the launch phase of the mission. The spacecraft was fitted with a 25 cm (9.8 in) Whipple shield, similar to the one used on Stardust on its leading face, designed with four layers of Nextel fabric and seven layers of Kevlar. The shield was built to allow the spacecraft to withstand the respective 28.2 and 14 km per second velocity flybys of comets Encker and Schwassmann WACHMANN3, where the spacecraft would be subjected to numerous particles ejecting from the nuclei of the comets. Although mission scientists predicted that the spacecraft would take no significant damage during the Encker and Schwassmann WACHMANN3 encounters, the shield and its prototypes were tested vigorously during the construction of the spacecraft, including one where a shield prototype was shot at with surrogate nylon particles. The results of the earlier tests allowed mission planners to determine a safe distance from which the contour would pass by comets targeted on the mission. Three of the four scientific instruments aboard the spacecraft are embedded within this heat shield. Topic. Spacecraft subsystems Topic. Power Power for contour derives from solar cells, which are mounted onto the spacecraft, decorating the sides and rear and generating up to 670 watts of power. A nickel-cadmium battery designed to last up to 9 ampere hours was also installed aboard the spacecraft in the event that the solar cell system fails, or does not provide enough power for the spacecraft or its instruments to function. <laughs> Communications and data <laughs> Propulsion and guidance Topic. Scientific payload Sadath Comet Impact Dust Analyzer CIDA, CRISP The Contour Remote Imager, Spectrograph CRISP, Kth Contour Aft Imager CHI, also known as the Contour Forward Imager CFI, NIMS Neutral Gas Ion Mass Spectrometer NGIMS. Topic. Mission 
Contour launched on a Delta 7425, a Delta II light launch vehicle with four strap on solid rocket boosters and a Star 27 third stage on July 3, 2002, at 6 hours 47 minutes and 41 seconds UT, 247, 41 AM EDT from Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. It was launched into a high apogee Earth orbit with a period of 5.5 days. Following a series of phasing orbits, the Star 30 solid rocket motor was used to perform an injection maneuver on August 15, 2002, to put Contour in the proper trajectory for an Earth flyby in August 2003, followed by an encounter with Comet Encker on November 12, 2003, at a distance of 100 to 160 km and a flyby speed of 28.2 km per second, 1.07 astronomical units from the Sun and 0.27 astronomical units from Earth. During the August 2002 injection maneuver, the probe was lost. Three more Earth flybys would have followed, in August 2004, February 2005, and February 2006. On June 18, 2006, Contour would have encountered Comet Schwassmann WACHMANN 3 at 14 km per second, 0.95 AU from the Sun and 0.33 AU from Earth. Two more Earth flybys were scheduled in February 2007 and 2008, and a flyby of Comet Darest might have occurred on 16 August 2008 at a relative velocity of 11.8 km per second, 1.35 AU from the Sun and 0.36 AU from Earth. All flybys would have had a closest encounter distance of about 100 km and would have occurred near the period of maximum activity for each comet. After the comet Encker encounter, Contour might have been retargeted towards a new comet if one was discovered with the desired characteristics e.g. active, brighter than absolute magnitude 10, perihelion within 1.5 astronomical units. Investigation into failure According to NASA, an investigation board concluded that the most likely cause of the mishap was structural failure of the spacecraft due to plume heating during the solid rocket motor burn. Alternate possible but less likely causes determined were catastrophic failure of the solid rocket motor, collision with space debris, and loss of dynamic control of the spacecraft. <laughs> Proposed reflight After the loss of Contour, a replacement spacecraft, Contour 2 was proposed, scheduled for launch in 2006. However, the replacement did not ultimately materialize. See also Rosetta, an ESA spacecraft launched in 2004 which went into orbit around Comet 67P, Churyumov-Gerasimenko.